Alzheimer's by Kelly Cherry. He stands at the door, a crazy old man, back from the hospital, his mind rattling, like the suitcase swinging from his hand. That contains shaving cream, a piggy bank, a book he sometimes pretends to read, his clothes. On the brick wall beside him, roses and columbine slug it out for space, clawed mortar. The sun is shining, as it does late in the afternoon in England, after rain. Sun hardens the house, reifies it, strikes the iron grillwork like a smithy and sparks fly off, burning in the bushes, the rose bushes. While the white wood trim defines solidity in space, this is his house. He remembers it as his. Remembers the walkway he built between the front room and the garage, the rhododendron he planted in back, the car he used to drive. He remembers himself, a younger man, in a tweed hat, a man who loved music. There's no time for that now. No time for music. The peculiar screeching of strings, the luxurious fiddling with emotion. Other things have become more urgent. Other matters are now of greater import, have more consequence, must be attended to. The first thing he must do, now that he is home, is decide who this woman is, this old, white-haired woman, standing here in the doorway, welcoming him in.